It says to use by December 7th. Does that mean I can't use it? Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. It's currently 12 p.m. and it is also Saturday, January the 11th, right? Yeah. I'm just now getting today's vlog started and I'm just actually now starting the vlogs for the new year. I posted my tattoo vlog and I just kind of wasn't wanting to vlog. Like I just was taking my break to hang out with friends and family. I think I've waited long enough because I actually got to the point where I missed vlogging. It wasn't like a chore. I kind of want to do it now. We are now here 11 days into the new year. Happy new year everyone. Happy first vlog of 2020. Happy first vlog of the next 10 years. Yesterday I kind of had my first mental breakdown of the year we lasted 10 days i was just overwhelmed by like the amount of schoolwork looking over like all of my classes like everything in a calendar i think at once i just visually got stressed out looking at it it just seemed like a lot of schoolwork yesterday i just stayed home in bed honestly drank a lot of wine watched documentaries and just took a chill pill so that's why i think i also feel kind of like ready to vlog i just had to go through the process you know i think my whole break was just leading up to me crying it all out and then I did last night and now this morning I feel good. For today's game plan, I honestly don't have anything going on. I plan on like doing laundry, I want to clean my bed sheets, I want to get started already on like schoolwork and stuff that's going to be due I know soon. I just want to kind of help prevent any sort of stress. Just kind of take it easy, I don't know. Okay, first of all, this, this is just like, this has been my week. <laughs> Fun fact, um, over my little break of not vlogging, um, I actually discovered how to make the perfect at-home coffee for myself. If you guys haven't seen my main channel video, I'll have it linked down below. It'll definitely be up by the time you guys are watching this. But I calculated how much money I spent in 2019, and in coffee alone, I spent almost $600. Like, it was like $599. And all thanks to TikTok, I found this girl who works at Starbucks, and she was like posting all these TikTok recipes of how they make their drinks. And she posted one of a caramel ice caramel macchiato. Surprisingly, I already had the stuff to make it at home, so I tried it out one day and it came out like so good. I've been making it, I'm not even kidding, every day before work when I come home from school. I'm gonna show you guys if any of you are interested on how to make an ice caramel macchiato from home because I know damn well I would have loved to see this in someone else's vlog. It's honestly like the easiest thing ever. It takes like five minutes in the morning. Let's go over here to my coffee station. If you guys don't have an espresso machine, then I honestly don't know how else you would do this because you need two shots of espresso so if you can find them somewhere great you're gonna need three pumps of vanilla syrup it doesn't have to be the starbucks brand this is just what my mom bought and you're gonna do three pumps of that our pump is like kind of fucked up so you know when you go to starbucks and you're like oh can i do four pumps of vanilla five pumps of vanilla like people customize it that's pretty much what this is so you can do however much you want you're gonna go and add three fourth cups of whatever milk you use i usually use unsweetened but we don't have any right now so i'll just use this one Oh, this is actually expired. It doesn't smell like anything. Can you use almond milk after it's gone bad? We're just gonna send it. I don't know. Hello? Hello? We had almond milk in the fridge. It says to use by December 7th. Does that mean I can't use it? As you guys just saw, um, I'm not going to make my coffee. That was a complete fail, but Naomi just called and she's actually gonna go to the store and get me some stuff like my almond milk to make it and then she's gonna come here and we're gonna edit together i don't know why i'm an idiot like i don't know like if i lived on my own in like another state or just in general i would have just done that like i would have just used the expired milk thinking i would be fine in the meantime then i'm just gonna start cleaning real quick do a little montage of me speed cleaning before she comes over because our house is kind of a mess and i'm sure my parents would appreciate the house to not look like this when they get home <laughs> Egg. Everyone comment down below a time that you ate something that was expired and it made you poop your brains out or not poop ever again or make your stomach hurt really bad or you died. Let me know. Tati almost drank a month old milk this morning. I literally vlogged the whole entire time. Everyone comment down below how goofy she is. I had something to say but I forgot so I'm gonna go now. Bye. Hi guys. Look who's here. One time I was walking like this, my mom didn't see my camera there and she just shut the... I was like in the middle of talking and she just came and shut it. I was like, <laughs> um, hello? Okay, that's good enough. Uh, Hi guys, welcome to... Copy time. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Three. 
add ice, and then you add your shot of espresso, and then you do this, and you add this, because the caramel drizzle is like low in sugar. It's like, mm. I'm literally a freaking barista. Look at that, that looks so good. Look at that. Ooh, baby, baby. Hey, you're welcome. Alright, now we're gonna do work fellow. And we're gonna do work, Bella. <laughs> we're okay. gonna do work and. And Bella. <laughs> and Bella. <laughs> Family came home. They brought me Korean food. It's now 7:34 p.m. Naomi came and edited with me for a little bit. We watched Netflix and did work, and then she left. I literally have just been editing and working on tomorrow's video. So, and watching YouTube. It is currently, I think, a little past 10.30. I just got out of my 9.30 class at the college, and I stopped by Chick-fil-A, and I'm going to Naomi's job right now, and we're gonna have lunch. So I'm super excited. I haven't been inside her new job before. I've been outside when we went to go get my tattoo. I met her there. I didn't really vlog anything, I don't think, yesterday at all. I just was at home working on accounting homework and editing and getting stuff ready for the week, and then I ended up going to Altitude and hanging out with Travis, so I just literally didn't vlog, so I don't know, I'm sorry. Mondays have become like my favorite days of the week, which is weird because I used to hate them, but I think Mondays are my favorite days of the week when I don't have to work. Everyone else is going to work and it just feels so good to like not have to go into work, if that makes sense. Like I have like a day to myself of like, I can kind of like set myself up for the rest of the week of like how busy I want to be, if that makes sense. I'm really liking this new work schedule so far. Later today after lunch, I'm probably just gonna go home and work on my video. I'm gonna upload it today. I'm so excited. I've been working on this video literally all freaking week. It's my what I spent in 2019 video, like going over all my spendings, which I know sounds like really boring, but like trust me. I'll have it linked down below. You guys can go check it out. Currently now 3.16 p.m. I'm home from having lunch with Naomi. Um, I didn't vlog getting lunch with her just because we were having like a time crunch of her break and we were just chatting and catching up. I got home around like 12.30 and I honestly have just been working on getting this video up today. After this, I'm just going to be working on homework, maybe even do a little workout. Probably should do that. Just like normal everyday things. Let's take this time real quick to drop your opinion down below in the comments and let me know. Do you guys care to see this kind of stuff? Like what is it you guys would like to see more in my vlogs? Because I'm all for like really chill vlogs like this. Just because I like watching other people's videos even if it's like just normal at home stuff i don't know like you don't have to be the most interesting doing the most traveling you know for me to like be entertained because a lot of the times i'm watching a video of someone because i like the person not necessarily the lifestyle and i try to like remember that when like doing my own vlogs because obviously like i am in college <laughs> i have a part-time job like i am probably the most normal person you will come across but i just don't know like if you guys care to like see this kind of stuff i don't know are you watching because you want to see my friends and like fun things or are you watching because you just want to see me let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm not going to be offended or like butthurt by anyone's opinion like i'm asking for it so please let me know i don't really have anything crazy going on this is just a typical monday just getting a lot of work done update on the tattoo it's officially like not swollen anymore like gone down and it's looking like a normal tattoo like i already had dinner It is now 7.30 p.m. I didn't really have much to vlog today, but I realized I haven't sat down with you guys and shared with you my New Year's resolutions or goals or anything, so I figured now would be like the perfect filler time in the vlog to do that. I always think it's good to at least speak your goals and plans and dreams out into existence so that way you can put it out in the universe, tell the universe it is what you want, and that way it makes it easier to manifest it. Obviously, there's more to it. You don't just get to say out loud, hey, I want to be rich, and then you're rich. But this is step one. We can say it out in the universe. I usually, fun fact, have like my half my resolutions normally picked out like a couple months prior to the year even ending because I'll like 
find things that I want to work on and then just save them until like the new year starts so that way I can like count it as a resolution from the beginning. But something I realized is like there's no better time to start working on bettering yourself or doing things than right now. Like you have this moment and if you care enough about yourself and you really desire to see a change and like I don't know make money moves or whatever it is you want to do like you should start now. Like what is it going to do to wait a day or a week or a month or a year? There's honestly no excuse excuse and I feel like I used to be a very excusey type person and I would say well I don't have this therefore I can't do this but like you don't need anything but your brain and yourself so since I've started like I guess practicing more of like that mindset I have less things that I, I want to say like oh I want to say this as a resolution some of my goals for this year would definitely be obviously to put more time and effort into this um, this is something that makes me so happy and keeps me sane it's a creativity outlet and like when I come home from work and I had a bad day like I literally will edit a vlog and that'll make me feel so much better because to go along with that something I told myself is that this year I need to put more in time and energy into things that make me happy you know just better myself and just taking care of myself and making sure I'm happy before anything else. Another thing I want to work on this year is to not be so eager to please other people. Last year and like every year before that I feel like I always deal with a lot of drama and I'm always like causing these problems for myself all because I don't know how to say the word no. Me being such a yes man which I love being like that yes person to someone like I love people when they talk about me in a way that's like oh she's down to do anything like I love that but then at the same time I'm always digging myself into like these deep holes of like stress because I say yes so often that I don't have any time left for myself I'm just trying to like please everyone and make sure everyone's happy around me but then not checking myself to make sure is this what I should be doing am I even happy you know what I mean as far as like school I would love to like pass the rest of my semesters and finish up college with if possible all straight A's and then obviously graduate college at the end of this year find a workout that I like and I can stick to I need to stop spending so much money on these stupid memberships that I don't commit to eating healthier for sure I don't eat as much as I used to eat I would say a year ago but even though I'm eating less the things that I am choosing to eat as my meals are not like the healthiest things I could be putting into my body so I want to work on balancing that kind of stuff. Learning to like vegetables more, pretty much. I'm not a big vegetable fan. I would love to read more, which I said actually I think in my New Year's resolutions drive with me video a year ago. I said I wanted to read a book a month and I will tell you, I read none. <laughs> I started actually one in January around the beginning of the year and I'm still now reading that same book a year later because I just never take time out of my day to like read. Like it's not a priority, but when I do read like it feels so good. I always think like I should do this more often. I want to spend less time on social media. I love it, but I need to spend less time stalking it if that makes sense. Like it's a different thing creating content for it versus just sitting on my phone scrolling and stalking other people and being all up in other people's lives. I want to do less of that. And I also just in general want to stop being so hard on myself. This is like way more than I thought I was going to say in this video. I've always known that I am my biggest critic, which is fine. I guess because then I guess that means no one else can really like judge me harder than I already judge myself Wow, that sounds so deep and horrifying. I honestly don't have many insecurities like physical wise Like a lot of my insecurities come from like my work ethic and like my work when I'm making a video for YouTube Like it takes me so long to like put out content because I'm just so hard on myself I'm so strict because I just set these like rules that no one created but me and then I'm over here crying about it because like I set these rules and expectations for myself that I didn't meet and I'm like upset but then the only way to like fix it you would think is just to like be more flexible I like work for myself and I'm like looking to please myself but like when I don't you know match the bar or whatever I feel like I'm a failure but like if I'm also in control of like my own success you would think I would just like lower the bar or just like be less harsh does that make any sense in general I'm just like super hard on myself all the time and everything I do and that's why I'm so meticulous all the time and I strive for like perfection. I feel like a lot of times it holds me back because I could be posting way more content that I do if I wasn't so hard on myself. So just kind of 
take a chill pill, I guess. I don't want to have to like overthink things. Like I just want it to be natural and just real and just go with the flow. That's about everything I think I have set for myself this year. I should probably write this stuff down in my journal. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about that stuff. Um, feel free to like comment down below what are some of your guys' resolutions and goals for this year. I'd be interested to know. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to uploading this video. Tomorrow, I go back to work for the next three days. I'm still trying to figure out like a good vlogging schedule because I definitely do want to have like upload days just to like get me on a schedule and a habit of like working. It would be obviously more convenient if like my hours weren't so morning to night. Until anything changes, if anything changes, I'm just gonna have to figure out when vlogs are gonna be going up. I'll see you guys later. If not, love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.